how to get what you really want. Ask yourself those four questions, how to make a decision. In this video, I will give you or share with you four questions to ask yourself in order to really get what you want, even in times of crisis. And this will help you how to make a decision or better decisions, to make faster decisions, and how to make even hard decisions or hard choices. And on top of this, I will share with you a question which will provide you with the insight if you are making the right decision. Now, you can apply these four simple questions to any decision you will ever make in order to get what you really want. Hi, I am Tom Nuyens from the Alive Academy, and I used to find it very difficult to make a good and fast decision. And it has cost me so much wasted time and money not knowing how to make decisions. Now, my intention is that these four questions will prevent you from doing the same and will give you the opportunity to really get what you want faster. And I advise you to write the four questions down. And when you answer them, write the answers down as well, because studies have proven when you do this, it will give you 11 times more efficient and actual results. So are you ready? Question number one, does this door, what I'm about to go through, give me a possibility or an opportunity? Or does it let me repeat what I all already know and want to be liberated from? If it will give me possibilities and opportunities, we call this a good door. If it let me repeat what I don't truly want, we call it a bad door. Simple. For example, when I was uh, closed up from my unsolved fears and feelings of unworthiness, I used to, po uh, to point outward and judge everyone, even people who truly wanted to help me. And I rather judged them, criticized them or labeled them. But pointing at them was my way of distracting so I didn't have to turn inward and open myself up for my own unsolved issues. And although I wanted nothing more than to find relief from my inner issues. So ask yourself the question, is this a good door or a bad door? Does this provide me with the opportunity or does it make me repeat the things I already know and want to be liberated from? For example, labeling or condemning others, pointing outwards, only distracts ourselves and therefore postpones our true liberation from being independently fulfilled and liberated. So this is a bad door. Now, solving my inner issues instead would make me see new possibilities, which is a good door. Also important to know, when someone judges us, they do this to distract themselves away from opening themselves up for taking responsibility for their own unsolved issues of fear and pain. So please don't base your self-worth upon other people's judgments. On the other hand, someone might point out a barrier or a wall you might be holding up you may be hiding behind this wall, unable to make a real connection with, with that person. Well, this isn't the other person judging you, but reaching out with a helping hand to actually liberate you and for you to become able to create a real connection or real love. Allowing ourselves to not be offended how confronting it may be, but to open ourselves up for our barriers or our walls to be seen that are pointed to, is actually a good door. Question number two. It is a good door, but is it also an open door? Is it an actual thing I could do? Now, is it a possibility or is this a closed door? Now, in my case, was it a possibility to actually make a 180 degree U-turn? Instead of pointing outward, I learned to turn inward and solve my inner issues from the very inside out. But at that time, I didn't actually really know the answer yet. But making a U-turn would at least give me possibility or opportunity to find out. So making a 180 degree turn was an open door and a good door. 
Now, if you have written down the answers to is it a good door and an open door? Well, the third question is, is it a wise door? And this one is a little bit more complicated. And to help you, we need a clarity, overview and perspective in what we truly want instead of what we think we want. And I will show you the fundamental drawing again. If you would judge me right now or my drawing, for example, with this again, or can it not be more entertaining instead of showing this same drawing or talking in front of a simple white background? If that is the case, please go back and answer question number one. By choosing my simple setup, I deliberately chose to keep you away from any distraction possible, to keep you as focused as possible to the connection between the symptoms and the very root of the problems. And my intention is that you will gain so much more rather than to be superficially entertained on the surface. But only you can choose to allow yourself to open up and receive it this way. If this heart represents the feeling of what we truly feel we want from the core, I call it our core desire. Then from the moment we are born until now, we all have experienced pain and the fear to feel that pain that sets around our pure feelings from which we run away behind a thick wall with our thinking into being constantly distracted. We actually start to believe that all the distractions we are hunting for with our thinking away from our core and true feelings are our true desires. While in fact, they all are quick fix bandages, which imprison and numb our feelings only even more. For example, we believe our core desire is to close ourselves up even more with our thinking by hunting for a partner out of fear to distract ourselves with from being alone with our own unsolved issues. While our core desire is actually the opposite, to open ourselves up and to connect with our core and true feelings from which we become a natural magnet for true connection with another in freedom. Or we believe our core desire is to close ourselves up even more with our thinking by hunting for success out of fear to distract ourselves from our own unsolved feelings of unworthiness within. While our core desire, our true core desire, is actually the opposite. To open ourselves up and to connect with our untouched and unharmed feelings of abundance within, from which the creation of abundance will be a natural consequence. From what you have seen in the animation, what would be a wise decision? A wise decision is a decision based upon the desire from our true core. A decision to distract ourselves from our core using quick fixes or external distractions like judging is not a wise decision. So please write down as an answer to question number three. Is it a wise decision or a decision based upon my true core desire that will liberate me completely? Or a decision to close or imprison my core with more numbing, quick fix distractions? For example, investing time and money in quick fix distractions, in medication to suppress the consequential symptoms, or condemning someone, or condemning me for besides giving you crystal clear clarity and direction and for giving you the theory for free, but also want to offer for the people who want more, uh, a simple to follow enjoyable step-by-step -step program to solve the very root together with every symptom, with lifetime personal support, with excellent reviews from people who actually put the program into action, is not a wise decision. Now, if you would want to judge me, feel free but how would that serve you in your liberation? And after all, it's not about me. It is about you, about your liberation. However, investing in the complete liberation from the very root up, from your true core desire and independent feelings of abundant fulfillment, from which the creation and the experience of abundance is only a natural consequence and will get you what you truly want, is not only a good door, 
an open door, but also a wise door. Finally, the fourth question. And this question is known to be hated by most people until we experience the true power behind this question. Uh, okay, this is a good door, it is an open door, it is a wise door, but is it a door I want? Now, with everything you know, your struggles, your restlessness, your fears, your pains, your judgments, uh, your distracting addictions, your consequential diseases, your gained perspective and crystal clear insight in the direction of your complete liberation, is this door what I want? If it is a good door, an open door, a wise door, and this is what you truly want, then taking the decision will already make you feel more powerful and free rather than repeating indecisive, powerless procrastination what you already know. Now, did these four questions help you to get crystal clear insight and direction to what you truly want from your core? Do you understand that people only judge another to not be confronted with their own issues? Now, what does this video do to you, knowing there is a way out to get what you truly want from your core? By writing down and taking action towards these answers to these four simple questions. Now, I know taking the decision towards solving our issues and liberating ourselves or our true core sounds scary. While in fact, it is actually the opposite, liberating and very enjoyable, actually. If you want a simple tool to get you past any symptom of a fear and want to receive the deeper fundamental insights based upon the insights of this video, so you can actually make the decision and truly get what you want from your core, click here so I can send the videos to you. Now, please let me know in the comment box below, like and share it with your friends what this video does to you. Now, enjoy making great decisions based upon these four simple questions and enjoy getting what you truly want.